Demi Lovato is now identifying as, she previously identified as pansexual. She's now changing that to identify as non-binary. I don't know exactly what the difference is between those things, but I know that the effect of this latter one is that she now identifies as multiple people. She wants her preferred pronouns to be they and them. And she announced this in a pretty trippy video. Living in the fourth dimension means existing consciously in both time and space. Hold on, pause it right there. Already, you see, we have a little problem about the agreement and disagreement on reality. She says, living in the fourth dimension means living consciously in time and space. That's called living in the third dimension, <laughs> right? I don't, I'm not a physicist, but I'm living in, the, in 3D right now. I can... I see I've got space. I see I understand volume and things like that. And I'm, I'm living in time. I don't, I know sometimes people call time the fourth dimension. I don't know. It seems a little hippy dippy to me. So already I think the interdimensional aspect of this video has me primed and ready to assume she's not going to be totally coherent. She goes on. But for me, it means having conversations that transcend the typical discourse. I want to take this moment to share something very personal with you. Over the past year and a half, I've been doing some healing and self-reflective work. And through this work, I've had the revelation that I identify as non-binary. With that said, I'll officially be changing my pronouns to they, them. Pause. Pause again. You can't do that. (laughs) You can't. But it's my personal choice. I've had this revelation. Where did you get this revelation from? Who gave you this revelation that you are multiple people? The only a book where I have seen a sort of revelation that an individual person is multiple people is this very old book, sometimes called The Good Book, uh, in which uh, uh, one person shrieks out, we are legion, we are, you know, and, and it's, but it's, that uh, would be demons. Demons would be doing it because you, a uh, one person can't be multiple people. And the smiling, and I've done some healing work and some self-reflection. You hear this a lot from the, they're always healing because of some trauma that has been done to them. And I actually, I don't even mean to discount this. Yeah, pe- people go through traumas. That, that is life. That is part of life. But it's always we're healing. And because I'm healing, you can't question me. Because I'm trying to recover from this trauma, you can't ever question my delusions. So I am multiple people. What does that mean? What does it mean to be they and them? I feel that this best represents the fluidity I feel in my gender expression and allows me to feel most authentic and true to the person I both know I am and still am discovering. In this first episode, I'm excited to share with you what this means to me and what it may look like for other people. I want to make it clear that I'm still learning and coming into myself, and I don't claim to be an expert or a spokesperson. I know this might be a new conversation for many, so I'm inviting my friend Alok, someone I trust to spend time on this platform. Alok is an author, performer, and an important voice within the non-binary community and beyond. Their work to create visibility, equality, and understanding has inspired me on my healing journey. We'll discuss identity at large, but also take the time to personally reflect on how I came into my truth so that we, like many others, are able to live our lives authentically. In just a minute, I'm going to share space with Alok and dive deeper into this conversation. If you told me, Michael, $100,000 $100,000 on the line, you get one guess. What is the name of this lady's friend? I would probably guess Alok. That's, I wouldn't have guessed John or Bert. You know, I think Alok sounds about right. This video matters, not because of anything involving Demi Lovato. I mean, the headline here is entertainer begs for attention. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Not exactly a man bites dog story, is it? So of course, you know, entertainers do this all the time and they just try to get more attention, particularly as their careers are sort of on the, on the way back down. So not, not surprised here. But the way that Demi Lovato is doing this is by just parroting. It's like a parody of leftist jargon. She's just fitting all the leftist slogans, my truth and self-discovery and healing and this journey into all into one sentence. And it's, you know, it's not going to be coherent really from the beginning of it with the fourth dimension stuff. But even in, in this little bit, she says, we're going we're to talk about the person that I know I am and am still becoming. If you're still becoming that, then you don't know that you are that person. You can't, you can't both be this firm set person and 
this other thing that you don't know what it is that you're headed to. That, that, just that alone is not possible. But it's actually multiple people, right? It's they and it's them. And that sort of thing does not jibe with any semblance of society. It's this, the radical subjectivism of the phrase, my truth is enough. Just that alone is enough to destroy society. I'm not being hyperbolic here, folks. I I don't mean to say that the bizarre musings of some entertainer are threatening to destabilize society. She is representing a very popular ideology right now. And if we cannot agree that there is truth, in Tim Ryan's words, if we can't agree on reality, then we can't get along in society. And, and what she's saying is not even I disagree with conservatives on reality. She's saying, I don't believe there is reality. I'm saying it's my truth and I'm becoming this radically subjective thing. And I know, look, I know I look like a woman and everything and I talk like a woman and I obviously am a woman, but I've had a revelation that I know that my true self, who I am not even that person yet, but I know that I am that person is multiple people. Well, there goes society. <laughs> there, it's over. Hey there. Are you living in the Demi Lovato fantasy land? You probably are if you have not rung that bell, if you have not subscribed, because you, you, all you're doing is swimming in this morass of delusion and fantasy. But what you got to do is live in this reality-based community. Okay, ring that bell, like, subscribe. I'll see you next time.